2020 saw a record 92,000 drug overdoses across the United States. And while final 2021 numbers have yet to be released, the total looks to be higher still. The crisis is being driven by the ultra-potent drug fentanyl. Fentanyl is the most powerful painkiller that's on the market today. And it has a very, very hard effect on the user. It's 100 times more potent than morphine. Only two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. In 2021, U.S. Customs and Border Protection seized more than 11,000 pounds of fentanyl in the United States, enough to kill more than two and a half billion people. Distributors are lacing it with less potent drugs like marijuana, meth, and heroin, often without the knowledge of the user. It's not just deaths from fentanyl. Um, it's death increasingly fentanyl mixed with methamphetamines and with cocaine. We are finding in our drug screening, um, almost every methamphetamine positive also has a fentanyl positive. Once that first high occurs, nothing after that compares. West Virginia saw a 40% increase in the number of overdose deaths just in 2020 alone, and fentanyl played an increasing part in those 1,200 deaths. But if you talk to experts here in West Virginia, they'll tell you that it's also the U.S. government's response to the pandemic that's to blame. Unfortunately, the stimulus monies that were distributed throughout the country as a way to address lost income attributed greatly to overdose deaths and to overdose near deaths and millions of relapses. We've seen a significant uptake, uptick in clients in the recent months. This former addict agrees. I got that big chunk of money. Well, that big chunk of money was gone within days. Sitting at home, being bored, having nothing else to do, already being an addict, you know, hey, let's get high. First time that I was narcan uh, I had got a hold of some fentanyl. I didn't know it was fentanyl at the time. I thought it was heroin. Um, I can remember I was smoking it. I took one hit. Um, my husband was sitting there with me. He walked into the kitchen. While he was in the kitchen, I took another hit. By the time that he came back into the living room, which wasn't a minute, 30 seconds, um, I was already blue. He narcaned me, and uh, when I came to, I was horribly sick. <laughs> Um, throwing up, uh, shaking, cold, everything like that. All it takes is one hit. I mean, seriously, one hit and I was gone. I mean, I don't even remember taking, I remember that I took the second hit, but I don't remember like, you know, the full. Now there's been times that, um, you know, throughout the years I've taken just one or two hits off of it, even though my tolerance was built up and it still put me out. Um, but the costs soon became all too real. Back in November, I, um, I lost a very, very dear friend of mine to an overdose. I think that, um, yeah, the pandemic had a lot to do with it, to be honest. Back on December 9th, I ended up in the hospital. And um, I was there all alone. Uh, my husband didn't call, didn't come to see me. Like I said, he's out chasing. Um, I don't even know if he knows I'm here. <laughs> but I was in the hospital all alone and they told me, uh, I woke up in ICU. I had an IV in each hand, in each forearm, and I had a pick line in. And they told me that um, I was two steps away from dying. They, they didn't know if, you know, I was gonna make it when I came in. The source of the fentanyl flooding America's streets might come as a surprise. According to data compiled by the Drug Enforcement Administration, illicit fentanyl is primarily manufactured in China and smuggled into the United States through Mexico. Some say this should constitute an act of war. Well, we should consider each of those deaths a murder yeah. because China wanted Americans dead. China knows exactly what's going on. So when they sell fentanyl, 
you have to assume that this is Communist Party policy. These experts fear fentanyl may prove to be our adversary's most powerful weapon, defeating America from the inside out. And it got its wish. Now, you talked about the southern border. Um, because of the pressure on our southern border, um, U.S. Customs and Border Protection doesn't have the ability, they're handling all the migrants, so they don't have the ability to go after the drug cartels. They sneak the stuff in, it's coming in across our southern border in record quantities. And we should be saying, every time someone says fentanyl, we should be saying China. Unfortunately, that's not the case. If our enemies can destroy our youth who fight our wars, then they've already won the battle.